Hello everyone! For those who don't know me, my name is Carmaine. Welcome to my channel and this video. I'm going to be doing some storytelling for you today. So, as you can see, I am trying a lot of new things on this channel. It's mainly just me trying to be interesting and stay relevant to my lavenders, so that reminds me. Follow, subscribe, listen to my music to become a lavender, and watch the intro so we can start the video. <laughs> Okay, so, as you can tell by the title, it's an interesting story. Yes, I did accidentally trap myself in my own garage. So, how did I do it? How did I do it? Well, this story starts around maybe a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so I just found out the date was actually the 12th of April. So not that long ago. I was just, you know, in my own sort of world, in my own sort of space, feeling comfortable, listen to music, obviously. And it was a nice day, so I was walking around the backyard and I noticed that we have like a sort of, sort of secret garden. And it's basically a pathway leading to the back of the garage. So the, not the front of the garage that lifts up, but the back, sort of a door to get in. I noticed that it was open. And, you know, it's not supposed to be, but the wind does open it sometimes because it's a, it's a, it's a really weak door. It just opens at random times, either because of the wind or because someone's opened it. So I went to look inside because I was, well, hoping that she wasn't there, but I was expecting to see Matilda probably wandering around in there. Um, if you're watching this and you don't know, Matilda is my cat. Anyways. I go in there, I have a wander around, I check all around the car to see if she's in there, but she wasn't. So I turn around to go back out and I realize the door isn't open anymore, like the wind has closed it behind me. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. I should just be able to open it again and let myself out. But no, <laughs> the wind somehow managed to slam it behind me. And, of course, I didn't hear it because I had noise-cancelling headphones on. But, um, thing about this door, if you slam it, it just automatically locks. Not automatically, because it's a, it's a physical key that you have to unlock, but if you really slam it, it will lock. And I got locked in there. I didn't have my phone with me. I listened to music on my iPad, which I'm holding now. So I had that with me, so I couldn't make a call and I couldn't message anybody to say, hey, I'm stuck in here. <laughs> so for ages, as embarrassing and suspicious as it was, I was banging on the door as loud as I could, sort of like shouting out for someone to help me. And knowing the rooms in the house, I could tell that my sister was closest by in my parents' room, I think. So I was shouting out for her to come help me. <laughs> and I realized how suspicious that could have sounded, considering the garage door was is so damn close to our neighbors. So I kept trying to make it very clear that I trapped myself there by accident so that they don't get suspicious, if you know what I mean. So a couple of minutes later, I heard not the car inside the garage, obviously, but the car outside of the garage starting to move. And that's when I thought, oh, wow, that must be my mum. She's come to rescue me. She's moving the car that, so that she can um, open the front door. And no, she just drove away. <laughs> I'm in my mum's car. Broom, broom. So she obviously didn't know I was there. I felt abandoned in that moment. But... I realized that there might potentially be a way to open that front door from the inside. I don't know why, but I have this memory of being able to do it, like there was a way to open it from the inside. Tried, couldn't. There actually was no way. I had obviously remembered wrong. 
So, my last resort was to send an email to my sister. Even though she doesn't normally check her emails that often. So I knew I'd be stuck in there for quite a while. I think overall I was stuck in there for maybe about 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe, I don't know. So, I sent my sister this email. Subject, help. And the body of the email says, Long story short, I was listening to music outside and I walked inside the garage, but it closed and locked behind me. There are a bunch of spiderwebs and spiders in here and it's really dusty. Also, I can't open either doors to the garage, so I'm temporarily stuck in here. My request is for you to let me out. Respectfully, I am terrified. Your sister, Kara. While I was in there, I also recorded these videos of myself. Just panicking. Roll the clips. <laughs> I can't see anything. I think the light just... Okay, yeah, you can half see me there. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck in the garage. <laughs> How did I get stuck in here? This door is so... It should just open for me. I'm I'm stuck. Please help me. While I was in there, something very interesting happened. I noticed that I got an email email back and I was like, oh my god, my sister actually is gonna respond to me and help me out. But no, I opened the email and the email was from Sadia Melbourne. So, you know, in case you don't know, I am from Australia. Um, I am from Melbourne. So, City of Melbourne sent me an email, and I'm like, oh, wow. Does that mean they finally responded back to my um, case study? Not case study. I sent them a case inquiry. That's the word. I sent them a case inquiry because I had sent in an application for my busking license and hadn't heard anything back for a while and thought I may as well send an inquiry saying hey when am I gonna get one back but it wasn't a response from the case inquiry it was actually an email with my busking license attached to it so <laughs> they had seen it and they had given me my busking license so that's that was really good <laughs> and then and only then I heard my iPad buzzing and noticed at the top of the screen there was a notification saying that I was getting a call. Now my phone and this iPad are synced together so that must be why I got a notification saying that I was getting a call from my phone so that, you know, it would signal for me to answer my phone but I obviously didn't have my phone with me so I thought what if I can pick up the call? What if I can call people through the iPad? And I did! It was my sister. I answered the call and she found out where I was and she rescued me. Hence this video. <laughs> I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> Tell them it was me. <laughs> Tell her I was very stupid. <laughs> and she said, yeah, she just got a busking license as well. Oh, I was in there, I got an email. And after she let me out and I came back inside, there was a little bit of a backstory. It turns out both of the people in the house, my mom and my sister, they heard me. They heard me screaming for help. They heard me banging on the door for dear life, but they thought it was coming from next door. And they thought that there was a fight happening or something like that. And my sister was actually getting kind of freaked out. So my mom had left, like I said. And my sister called my mom and said, Hey, there's some strange and really loud banging coming from next door. I'm kind of scared. And it was me. Uh, I'm sorry. 
to my sister, I am so sorry for that. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just very desperately asking for help. <laughs> oh my god. So, and that's the story. And that was the ruckus that I caused by accidentally locking myself in the damn garage. Wow. So, that's it for this wild ride of a video, and that's it from me for now anyways. So, don't forget that you can stream my album, Isolation, The Piano Collection, and remember to keep an eye out, because very soon I am planning and in the middle of making a music video for my song Drowsy. Drowsy is my sort of half cover of Just the Two of Us by Grover Washington Jr. And it's the first track on the album and it also happens to be a bit of a fan favourite, so that's why I've decided to make a music video for it. Um, it's gonna be all made by me, self-made and just made at home, so I'm not expecting something incredibly, you know, like Oscar worthy <laughs> or Grammy worthy, but um, it'll be something and I have lots of other plans for music videos and they're just gonna keep getting better and better. So keep an eye out and yeah, that's it. <laughs> Until then, this is Karame signing out.